Come on in. Hi, my name is Steve Hicks. I'm an electrical engineer here at the Stroud Water Research Center in Avondale, Pennsylvania. My job as the sensor network development engineer uh, here at Stroud is to work with a variety of scientists who are working on putting a lot of sensors out in the field where we study water, fish, soil, air, things like that. So the scientists need instrumentation to take measurements from the field. So it's my job to buy the different types of sensors that we put into the field and then to develop the circuitry and uh, data logging and computer databases that manage uh, and monitor all of those sensors and collect the data so that the scientists can then perform their experiments and, uh, and analyze that data that I've helped them collect. The fun part about being an electrical engineer is that you have a lot of knowledge about how electronics, computers, and those type of things work so that when something breaks, you're able to fix it, you know what's going wrong with it. It's not really a mystery what's going on with, with electronics, so you're able to fix things and you can also help improve things. If you need to modify something or customize something uh, that you're working with, you're able to do that because you understand a lot of how that works. So it, it kind of opens up your, uh, your, your toolbox of various things that you can play with. <laughs> This is our new version of our newest uh, data logger board where we have solar panels, we have batteries that are charged by the solar panel, and then the instruments come in here. We put this all in a nice waterproof box, which is clear so the solar panel can be recharged through the lid. And this whole setup costs less than $100. They sell similar commercial options that are six to $800 a piece, but they don't have all the options that do, we can't customize them the way that we do. Um, so for a fraction of the cost of a commercial system, we have the complete flexibility of our own custom design and uh, uh, for much, much lower cost. That to me is the most rewarding thing is, is doing something that people thought were impossible. I'd be like, this, this thing is broken, it's no good to me anymore. And I can say, hey, don't throw it out, I'll fix it. And, and I can resurrect this device where they thought that, that they would never be able to use it again. That's, for me, that's pretty exciting.